When I think about Monica's work, the first thing, generally speaking, that comes to mind is a sculpture that represents the intersection of art, architecture, and movement. Her sculptures are in this fascinating three-dimensional place where um, they're kind of coming out of the architecture, so they're not quite architecture, um, but they're also art objects, and yet they also seem to be moving. There's a lot of dynamism in her works. I also sometimes think of them as anthropomorphic in this sort of playful way where when you shut the lights off, they're moving around at night without us. Warsaw is so important as a context for Monica's work. The city has had a particularly tumultuous history. It was, as most people know, destroyed almost completely in World War II by the Nazis. Um, so the architecture was rebuilt at that time. Um, and then for about 30 years, it was under Soviet communist rule, which is where a lot of the um, architecture, the kind of Polish modernist architecture from the 50s to 70s is what Monika is referencing in her work, but it takes on a different tenor than modernism in the rest of the world because it was very much oppressive communist architecture as well. Um, and then in 1989, when it became a democracy and sort of the whole system of things changed across Eastern Europe, including in Poland, a lot of these buildings that were associated with the communist era um, became abandoned, they were destroyed, uh, they were repurposed. Um, so it's a very sort of fascinating, complex and fraught history of Poland that I think Monica is really grappling with in her work. Taking these architectural structures from that era, which are these very highly contested um, psychological spaces, replicating them and then kind of twisting them, turning them and crunching them up into these new non-functional uh, dystopic forms. Monica it definitely almost seems as much an architect, you know, DNA of an architect as an artist. She has kind of both parts in her. Starting with the Bauhaus and moving into the international style, people like Mies van der Rohe and Walter Gropius and of course, Le Corbusier. I think that Monica loves that aesthetic. I know she's delved very deep into, for example, Mies van der Rohe's archives. Um, she has specifically talked about referencing this kind of architecture in her work. I think it has sort of a more layered meaning for people from Poland because in a way modernism is directly linked to communism and to oppression. These kind of clean, open, honest, as they used to call them, the architecture was so honest, um, the raw materials, they were also used to suppress and to control, to control people's movement in spaces or not movement, so to speak. So it became seen, I think, um, not just in these kind of purest modernist ideals, but also as a kind of a darker side. I think that her work has so many layers. It has the Polish and Warsaw-based context. It has a minimalist sculpture, global perspective. She's definitely taking from specifically sort of the US minimalists, those, those trends kind of um, are repurposed and um, reinvented in her work. And then I think there's a very personal, emotional, and psychological layer to her work. And so I think when it comes to a viewer, I hope that they will spend time with her work and let those kind of layers unfold.